Hi there, today we're going to take a quick look at using some automatic frame fitting options for both text and graphics. We'll start out with graphics. Um, just to remind you that you can go under the uh, file menu and come down to place and you know that you can place multiple uh, photos or graphics. I just have some pictures here and I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these. Go ahead and click open and a rapid way for me to place these is to go ahead and I'm going to start to press and drag after these are loaded. Then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to add some rows and columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to drag out. I keep my mouse down. I'm going to hit my up arrow that gives me two rows. I'm going to hit me uh, another up arrow and it gives me three rows. I'm going to hit the right arrow and it gives me three columns. What I'm going to do next is I'll drag this out and I will let up. And what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and place those first nine pictures in those actual frames. Now I'm going to click on my selection tool to unload my graphic gun. I'm actually going to delete all these and I'm going to close this document out and I'm going to show you an option that you can set up ahead of time. I'm going to go under the object menu down to fitting. And now there's no documents open so I'm going to make a global change to InDesign. So this is going to apply to all new documents. I'm going to come down to frame fitting options and I want to say I want to use auto fit. I want this to automatically when I place the pictures in the frame I want them automatically to fit. I want them to fill the frame proportionally and I want them to reference the center of the picture. And I'm not going to crop any amount. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to make a new document, Command or Control N, hit Enter. And then we'll go out and repeat the process. We'll go out, and we'll get File, Place, grab some of these pictures, go ahead and click Open, load them up, press and drag. And as I drag, I'm going to keep the mouse button down again. And I'm just going to ask it to give me um, three rows and three columns. So I'm going to go ahead and press and drag. I'm going to hold my mouse button down. I'm going to click the up arrow a couple of times to give me three rows. Right arrow, three columns, drag it out. And I'll position it like this, let up. And it automatically is going to fill that with the first nine pictures I had selected. Now I'm going to delete that again. I'm going to click on my arrow again and unload the gun. This time I'm going to go to the rectangular frame tool and I'm going to press and drag out a certain size. We'll say about this. And I'm going to hold the shift key. And I'm also going to hit the up arrow a couple times and the right arrow a couple times. And that's going to give me these square shaped frames because I'm holding the shift key down. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let up on my mouse first. Now that gives me um, nine independent frames where I can put pictures. So I'm just going to go under File place. Remember the options are already set up for auto fitting. I'll grab my pictures, click open. It's going to load up the graphics gun with all those uh, pictures. And you'll see the first thumbnail here come up in just a second. Now you notice next to the paintbrush uh, icon in the loaded graphics gun I have a 12. So just to remind you, you can hit your right arrow and cycle through the pictures you have here. And let's say I want to take this dragonfly picture. I'm going to place it here. And I'll take this uh, blossom here. And my hummingbird here. My little chipmunk friend here. Here's where he's trying to split. My flower. And Daisy the duck here. A little bit of a uh, baby swallow. And I think I'll come back to this... Um, Gerbera daisy here. Okay, so I'm just showing you a quick way to go ahead and make some frames on the fly, either populate them on the fly uh, by going out and loading the gun up with multiple pictures, drag out with the um, uh, mouse button down, hit the up arrow or right arrow to add rows or columns, let up when you get the number of frames you want, 
in the, about the size you want and then it will automatically place them in there. If you want to make the frames ahead of time like we just did, just take the rectangular frame tool and do the same thing but draw the frames out and then you can go back and you can load up the gun again and place the pictures in the frames you want to. It's just a quick way to populate a lot of frames with some graphics. Now to finish up, just another little simple tip here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I want to set up like nine blocks of text frames. Maybe for little descriptors, maybe for a bingo card, um, something like that. So I'm going to take my type tool, I'm going to start to drag out, and I want my size of my frames to be about this. And I'm holding the shift key down. I'm going to hit the up arrow to give me my two rows, my three rows. I'm going to hit my right arrow to give me my columns. I'll drag out this and I'll let up and now I have nine text frames. Now I'm going to show you that all of these are actually linked. If I go to the view menu extras and show text threads you'll actually see the linking arrows going through the whole uh, page here. I'm going to turn that off. Extras and I'm going to hide text threads. Now if I go under type here and I just fill it with placeholder type or I could place some type in there, I'm just going to fill it with placeholder text. You'll see it'll flow from the first frame through the last. Now I'm going to undo that. So maybe I would like to be able to put text into every one of these frames but not have them threaded. Um, the best way I know to do that is actually using a script if you go to the window menu down to utilities and over to something called scripts if you don't know about this this is a great um, asset for you this lists a series of scripts and so let me close down my folders here here's an application folder I'm going to open that up I'm going to open up my samples I'm going to open up my um, JavaScript or Apple script both of the same scripts and I'm going to come down here to a script called split story Apple script in this case. I'm going to double click and what that does that instantly runs this script on these text frames and now every one of these is actually an independent text frame. So now let me select them all like I did before in place some uh, placeholder text. You're going to see that because they are all selected yes it does fill them but they're not threaded if I go under here and show you extras and show you text threads, see they're not threaded together. So they're totally independent text frames. I could click off, double click inside. I can type in every one of these independently. Pretty nice. And then if I wanted to, I could take the text and if I wanted to maybe make these like little flashcards or something like this, I could select all these frames, right mouse click, go into text frame options, and go ahead and go under vertical justification and align it to the center. And now all that text is vertically aligned and I'll go to my type tool, pick up my paragraph portion of the control panel and click on my align center. And there we have them, we're all centered up. So this was just a quick tip today to show you a rapid way to place multiple objects um, and also working with multiple text frames and building them on the fly.